I was running track at the college level and we were at practice one day going over high hurdles and uh, over one of the hurdles I felt my hamstring pop and I fell and I knew right away that it was tore. I wasn't going to try and get up. I was pretty bummed and I needed to get better. Zach came in to me. He is an elite athlete. He's a track runner. And what he had was he had problems with his proximal hamstring. He had been undergoing treatment with another physician, going through therapy, going through treatments with that, modalities, ice, rest, and none of that helped him out. He was really limited in what he could do in regards to running, sprinting, hurling. And so he came to me for kind of a second opinion. And what I did was I said, well, let's take a look at you and see if you would benefit from the PRP. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma therapy. And what this is considered, this is considered a regenerative injection in which we take blood out of the patient and actually concentrate the platelets, which have immense growth factors on them, into an area of damaged tissue, a tendon, a muscle, a ligament, to help regenerate that tendon, help stimulate heating, healing into that area so that that tissue then regenerates decreases the amount of inflammation in that area, decreases the chronic changes that the patient has in that area, no matter what that tissue is, and decreases the amount of pain and makes them more functional on a daily basis. What I do with a patient is I evaluate them under ultrasound and I take a look at the actual tissue, the actual tendon, ligament, muscle, and show them the abnormality that they have and determine whether they are an appropriate patient for PRP or the platelet-rich plasma therapy. So the procedure is actually a very simple procedure. What happens is, is one of my athletic trainers comes in and they draw blood. And it's like a simple, typical blood draw that you get at any lab. They'll come in and they'll take about 30 milliliters of blood out of you. Then they'll take that and they'll put it into a specialized receptacle and put it into a specialized centrifuge machine. And what the platelet-rich plasma therapy actually does is I take the platelets out, which have immense growth factors on them. I concentrate them down out of the blood itself and I inject them into the area of concern. What that then does is that stimulates the cells into that area, no matter it be a muscle or a tendon, to regenerate that tissue and decrease the changes that are going on chronically within that tissue, decrease the pain that they're having, as well as increase their function. There's a wide range of patients that would benefit from this procedure. It can be anybody from a 20-year-old athlete to a 65-year-old person who likes to garden. Um, any patient that has any kind of chronic pain, chronic issues with tendons, with muscles, with ligaments is going to be one of those patients that's going to be able to benefit from this procedure. When, when you're told you can't run for a few months, if not the rest of the year, and that's what you live to do every day, and that's your means of relieving stress and having fun. It's, it's, it takes a mental toll on someone when they're told they can't do something they love. And with the PRP injections, all of that was given back to me. After the PRP injections from Dr. Exman, I decided to join the Navy, but I didn't want to do a basic Navy job. I wanted to go into Special Forces, so that's what I did. But to get accepted into Special Forces, you have to pass a PST, which is a physical standard test. It's a 500 meter swim, straight to push-ups, straight to sit-ups, straight to pull-ups, and then straight to a mile and a half run. So it's very physically demanding, but without the PRP injections, there's no way I would have even been able to consider doing that. <laughs>